Hello first grade. So today we are going to start some cave art and this is what it's going to look like when it's finished. And our learning objectives for this assignment are to understand people from different places and times have made art for a variety of reasons. We will be able to create art for the purpose of recording history and we'll be able to use materials and tools safely and properly. So we read the story, the first drawing by <coughs> Mordecai Gerdstein. And so now we are going to create um, our piece of a cave. So we talked about cave art and why the cavemen created cave art. And so now we're going to create our own little piece of a cave so that we can um, paint our own cave art on there. So you're going to start with a piece of model magic. And what I want you to do is I ball it up a little bit and then you're just going to press this down onto the table and you might want to stand up and use the palm of your hand. You're not going to use your fist and you're going to press this down and you've got to keep pressing and it feels like nothing's happening but it is getting thinner and when I press I press and I kind of push forward press and push forward to make this bigger and we want to make it thinner so notice how I'm pulling it, pushing and pu pushing down and pulling forward and I'm moving the piece so that I can make it bigger. If you leave it too thick then it's going to be a small little piece of the cave so we want a nice bigger piece of the cave. You can also flip it over and do it on the other side but my table's dirty so all the dirt is on this side so I'm going to keep this side clean. Okay, now you don't want to make it too thin, but that's the first step. And then this is air dry clay, so you're going to give this to me. I'm going to lay it nice and flat out to dry until you get a piece that looks like this. It's nice and stiff. <clears throat> and you're going to get your little cave art piece back, or your little piece of the cave. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to practice sketch out some cave art images. So I have some cave art handouts here with lots of different ideas. This didn't print really well but you can kind of see it and then the back here. And I want you to pick an animal to draw on your tiny little piece of paper that's going to fit onto your cave, your piece of the cave. Now these are not easy to draw so I want you to take your time and just do the best that you can it doesn't need to look exactly like it does in the cave art part. Okay, so I tend to draw things big, filling the space. If you draw um, your, uh, your animal small, that's okay. You can add some of these other symbols or you could add um, some people. Completely, it's completely up to you. You could add another animal. Okay, so now that you got back your clay model magic dried piece of the cave. Your name's taped to the back and you practice sketching some animals. Now you're going to redraw that in pencil onto your model magic piece. And you want to use a dull pencil. You don't want to use a sharp pencil because it's hard to draw on this soft material. And you can erase, but what we found is if you take your finger and kind of rub at it, if you make a mistake, it does kind of smear it enough that um, you could redraw it. So you're just going to redraw your animal which I know is not ideal, but it's really the only way to do this. So you're going to redraw your animal onto your clay model magic piece real light with your pencil. So you can see that a little bit because I'm not pressing real hard because you don't need to press real hard. You just need a, a nice light mark for your, for your animal. And remember that I, this is cave art, so I want animals. You can do a couple of people, but I want you to definitely have an animal and some symbols on there too. And you need to fill up your model magic piece. I've had some people that draw a tiny little animal in the middle of their model magic piece and then they don't um, add anything else and it's just all this blank space. So you're going to draw lightly with your pencil, a dull pencil, a pencil that's not sharpened because it'll be easier to draw with. A pointy pencil is going to keep getting caught in the model magic and won't go across it. So after you get your animal drawn, you can draw some other symbols 
got some symbols on the sheet here around your animal and then you're going to go over it with black sharpie marker so then you're just going to take your black sharpie marker and you're going to trace right over the top and you're not pressing down hard with the sharpie marker because it won't want to go across your piece It'll get kind of caught up in this soft material. And just make sure you add a lot of nice symbols that fill up the space or add a person or a hunter. You could even color in your animal black if you want. Like if you see here, some of these animals here are colored in black. If you want to color those in, you could color it in even. So that's how you're going to uh, get your animal onto your clay model magic piece of your cave. So now I'm going to start to add the cave color to my cave piece. So you're going to get a manila paper to go onto your work. You're gonna get a water basin, a paintbrush, some brown watercolor. And so the first thing you're gonna do is get your paintbrush wet and you're gonna put a puddle of water on top of the brown watercolor. So I'm just dipping my paintbrush in the water and pulling it across the edge of the square to get a puddle of water on top of the brown paint and then I gently touch the brown paint with the bristles of my paintbrush and I'm going to paint over the top of this completely with the brown and I'm going to make sure I get the edges too. You can use make the color dark or it can be light. It's your preference. I'm going to try and make mine dark so it looks more like a cave wall. So I'm going to keep adding paint over the top of the lighter areas to darken up the color. And even with the dark brown, you can still see your drawing underneath. So now I'm going to add just um, a few little spots to make my cave look a little dirty and a little speckled. So you're going to get to come over to my spraying station and we have a little squirt bottle that has some liquid black paint in there and you're going to just squirt it once or twice and you don't need to pull back on the handle all the way you just need to pull it just short just um, a little bit to get it to squirt a little black paint and I'm going to have a placemat so that you don't get paint everywhere and you're just going to pull the trigger to get some black spots and I just pulled it three times just for a few black spots to make it look like it's a rough dirty cave and there is my finished piece of my cave created my cave art and I'm gonna let this dry and then I'll get to take this home